FCC family, good evening and welcome to Faith Christian Center Live. We're excited. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. I'm just excited about the word of God. I'm excited about life. I hope you're excited about life. And if you're not excited, get excited. Amen. Tell your feelings how to feel. Tell your thinker how to think. Tell yourself how to act. Amen. Speak to yourself. Now, tonight, we're going to pray and get into the, tonight's lesson. <clears throat> and I, I, I love it. I love, I love, I love uh, teaching the Word of God because that's when I get fed. And, and so this is another opportunity to hear from God. Let's pray. Father, we just thank you. We love you so much. We appreciate you. We thank you for your love, your kindness, your tender mercy. We thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you for the authority that's in your word. And Father, as we minister your word, we thank you for your word going out unhindered by any satanic force. We thank you for it falling on good ground, producing a God kind of lifestyle. We thank you for the people of God being built up and refreshed by your word. I thank you now for revelation knowledge flowing. I give you honor for it. Praise in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. <clears throat> now, we've been talking about for the last few weeks. Uh, uh, the kingdom of God. We've been talking about faith. And the bottom line is the how-tos. If, if you are going to say something, it would be like, you know, once you get saved, uh, then what do I do? How do, how, do I, how do I live this abundant life that Jesus uh, died, rose from the grave, sent it to the Father for me to uh, live? And so we, we would say, The kingdom, seeking the kingdom of God is the how-tos. Just like you went to natural school to learn how to, how to operate uh, in life. Well, once you get saved, you need to know how to operate in the kingdom. So turn your Bibles, <clears throat> if you would, to... Let's do this. Go to Romans 1, 17. And then we're going to go to Galatians 3. And then we're going to go to 2 Corinthians 5 and 7. Just, just a jumping board. Amen. And just to, just to invite you, if you haven't, get your Bible. Don't, don't trust me. You need to see it. Amen. And uh, get your Bible, get your pencil, paper. And then just even if you can't find it right now, uh, write it down. Write down the scriptures. Write down, and then later on in your spare time, go back and and look at it to, to see, because there there must be an abundant life, and there must be a winning, and there must be rewards, and there must be on top, and there must be in front. And so look at um Romans one and verse seventeen. It says, for in the gospel, a righteousness which God ascribes is revealed both springing from faith and leading to faith, disclosed through the way of faith that arouses to more faith, as it is written, the man who through faith is just and upright shall live and shall live by faith. Now go to Galatians 3. Galatians 3. So we see seen there that, the, the, that as a believer, God expects us to live by faith. Just like in the normal, you would say man lives by air. Man lives by food, right. uh, sustains itself. Well, uh, Jesus even said it when he was tempted by the devil. He said... Man should not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. And so God expects you and I to believe him before we have any physical evidence. He expects you to, to trust him without no physical evidence. 
That's why he keeps saying the just shall live by faith. The just shall live without feeling nothing. Without seeing nothing. Without hearing. Without tasting nothing. Amen. Well, 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 how am I supposed to live? I'm supposed to operate on the word of God. Right. I'm supposed to believe God, his word, without no tangible evidence. Mm -hmm. That is what produces the tangible. See, believing him produces the tangible. The tangible don't, don't produce faith. Faith produces the tangible. Yes, sir. <clears throat> yes, sir. Trust in God produces mm -hmm. leaning on, stepping out on his word, produces the tangible. Mm -hmm. If the tangible to produce faith, everybody would have faith. Right. <clears throat> Amen. Amen. But faith produces the tangible. Yes. All right, look at Galatians 3. <clears throat> Excuse me. In 11, now it is evident that no person is justified, declared righteous, and brought into right standing with God through the law or works. For the scripture says, the man in right standing with God, the just, the righteous, shall live by and out of faith, and he who through and by faith is declared righteous, and in right standing with God, shall live. Yes. Okay, so we're right back to living by faith. See, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't in rituals. Mm -hmm. It's in trusting God's word. So that means I got to erase my opinion, mm -hmm. yeah. what I think about how I think it should be, and, and focus in on if God can't lie, then he must be telling the truth. Right. Amen. Amen. Go to 2 Corinthians. <clears throat> 2 Corinthians 5 and 7. And I'm purposely giving you these, these scriptures so when we take off uh you'll have that to fall back on. Yes. That, 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 that what he's saying ain't going to make sense to me. Right. Right. And I already know it. What it's going to do is make faith for you. Yes. Mm -hmm. See, it has nothing to do with your denomination. It has what I'm doing when it comes down to what God is asking for. Yes. See, without faith, it's impossible to please God. For they that come after God must first believe yes. that he is God and that he is the rewarder yes. of those that diligently seek him. Now look at um, 2 Corinthians 5 and 7. And I love the way that it says it here in the Amplified. It says, for we walk by faith. We regulate our lives and conduct ourselves by our conviction or belief, respecting man's relationship to God and divine things. With trust and holy fervor. Thus we walk not by sight or appearance. See, we don't walk by the senses. So what do I walk by? I walk by, I live by the word of God. That's why, that's why you don't you don't you, you don't run with folk that Tell you, yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know what the word of God says, but God knows we're human. No, God knows he go, he gave us the manual yeah, that's right. to win. Yeah. That's See, right. even if, even if, even if you're not operating in it, it's still true. Right. See, even if you're not experiencing it, it's still true. It's not true because you're experiencing it. Mm -hmm. Now, if, if you do the word of God, you will experience it. See, you will, you will get the benefit of the manifestation. Amen. Now, 
we left off with that with that rich ruler over there in Mark. Go to Mark 10. <clears throat> Cuz there's something Jesus said about all things are possible. And and Mark Mark all things are possible Mark 10. All things are possible. So even the impossible mm -hmm. is possible. If all things are possible, even, even what we call impossible, yeah. see, that's impossible. Yeah. Ain't no way. No, no, no. Mm. All things, Jesus said it, all things are possible. Mm. Because look at uh, Mark 10, and you know the story of the rich young ruler that came and asked God, asked Jesus how could he uh, get into eternal life and all that. And then Jesus, in turn, Told him you lack one thing. You, and, and the guy was wealthy. And Jesus told him, you lack one thing. Sell what you have, give to the poor, and come on and follow me. And the Bible says, over in this um 10 and 17, the Bible says that the the the, the young ruler left with his head down because he wasn't willing. To turn loose his possessions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Other words, he was he wasn't he wasn't he wasn't willing to let go. Mm -hmm. right. Like 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 his butt got in the way. Mm -hmm. You know, I understand what you're saying, Jesus, but I I can't I can't I can't do that. I can't I can't let that go. Mm -hmm. And a lot of folk, that's where they stuck. They're stuck at the place of exchange. They won't, they won't turn loose the old life to get the predestined or what the Bible calls the blessed life or the life of the kingdom or the good life. They, they think that whatever that, them five senses is telling them, that's all there is to it. And so they get to a level of stuck. And they think somebody else sticking them. They don't realize they sticking themselves. See, until there's some accountability, you'll blame others for where you at. Now, you ain't got nothing to do with your start, but you do have something to do with your ending. Yeah, yeah, because the word of God is designed to make it so that you'll be envied. Now, in order in order to be envied, you got to be doing something. I don't know nobody that really envies somebody that ain't doing nothing. Usually it's somebody that's doing nothing. Did you see so-and-so? And did you see this? And did you see that? Envying them. All right. Well, look at look at look at what Jesus said in twenty seven, because after he hit him with that, he said it's hard for those that won't. Let, let's just let Jesus do the talking. I've been talking. Let 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 let's let Jesus. And 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 Jesus looked around and said to his disciples in verse twenty three, "With what difficulty will those who possess wealth and keep on holding it?" Enter the kingdom of God. Other words, he could, he could, what is, what, what is God asking you to turn loose? Yeah. Yeah. See, it's easy for us to talk about this dude, mm -hmm. but, but, but what is hindering you? What is, what is stopping you from, from the good life? Right. No, God set this thing up where the gates of hell can't prevail against you. So it must be self-inflicted. See, what's your, what's your excuse? What, what, what mindset are you set on? What temperature have you set yourself on? See, how far are you willing to believe God? See, how far are you willing to go? Because watch what Jesus said. Verse 27, 
Jesus glanced around at them and said, with man, it is impossible, but not with God. For all things, say that, all things. All things. See, see that, mean, that means even the things that ain't been done before are possible. See, you come from the bottom to the top with God. Hallelujah. See, you never, you never out of the game with God. You can't be stopped with God. Because he said, Jesus said here. And Jesus said, verse 27, with man it is impossible, but not with God. See, look, look, look up. It might not have worked before. But now with God, all things are possible. All things. Even, even the impossible is possible with God. Just think about all the things they said that couldn't be done. That have been done. So just because... It hasn't be, been done. That don't mean it's impossible. Right. It just means it hasn't been done. Right. So even the impossible. Mm -hmm. See, I'm trying to get you to yes. trying to get you to stretch. See, even the impossible is possible yes. with God. Mm -hmm. No, all you got to do, all you got to do is agree with God and win. Right. That's all you got to do. All you got to do is agree with the word of God. Like Mary did. Let it be according to your word. That's all you got to do. You just got to agree with God. You could be just too busy and too many loose ends instead of focusing on, on where you're gifted. You know, you be busy but not focused. And so you got unfinished business. Mm -hmm. No, you'd be surprised how many folks just go through life loose ends. Like a kid uh, that got a whole chest full of toys mm -hmm. and he playing with a toy and then another kid come over. He'll stop playing right. with what he was playing with to run over because mm -hmm. now he want to play with the G.I. Joe. Right. Yeah. Un unfinished business. Right. Instead of focusing. No, you're supposed to, you're supposed to maximize mm -hmm. this life you, that God has given you. This good life, this blessed life in the kingdom of God. Yeah. Well, 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 Rev, how do, how do I do this? I'm glad you asked. Go to Matthew 6 and 33. Matthew 6 and 33. 6 and 33. This is, this is how you do it. This is how you do it. This is how we, this is how we, this is how we do it. Yeah, I know, I know. This is how we do it. This is how we do it. Look, look. It said, there, no, I don't want, I want 33. But seek, aim at, and strive after, first of all, his kingdom, his righteousness, his way of doing and being right, and then manifestation. So then all these things. But how do I get manifestation? Seeking the kingdom. Seeking the kingdom. You want the manifestation? Seek the kingdom. Why well, ain't getting no manifestation? Because you ain't seeking the kingdom. You seeking your way. You seeking a way that seemeth right. Because if you seek the kingdom, you'll get manifestation. That's why I said, don't worry about what you're going to eat. What you don't worry about provision. He said, what you worry about, what you focus in on, what you use your faith for is the kingdom. And, and, and the more you seek the kingdom, the more reality you have. And what I mean, it, 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 it'll become so real to you and, and so close to you. That you won't even have to ask for stuff. 
You will think of stuff and it'll manifest. Because it'd be so real to you. No, he said, he said, seek first. Because think, think about how we've been trained. Get your credit right, and that's good. Uh, get you a good job, that's good. But look at the order. We, we, we seek in provisions. And we've been trained. And seeking provisions. Mm -hmm. True. See what I'm gonna eat, what I'm gonna drink, where am I gonna live, what am I gonna drive, mm -hmm. what I'm gonna put on. Mm -hmm. Well, here in the kingdom, mm -hmm. you don't go after the things, mm -hmm. you go after the kingdom. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at um Mark 9. You right there. <laughs> Mark 9, verse 15. Watch this. Mark 9, verse 15. And Jesus replied to them. No, no, no. Verse, um, what do I want? Mark, Mark, Mark. I'm in Matthew. Sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry, sorry. Mark, Mark 9, Mark 9. Go to Mark. Mark 9. And verse 15. Mark 9, verse 15. Y'all with me? GP, are you with me? All right. Look at 15. And immediately all the crowd, when they saw Jesus returning from the Holy Mount, his face in person yet glistening, they were greatly amazed and ran up to him and greeting him. And he asked them, about what are you questioning and discussing with them? Talking about the And one of the throng replied to him, teacher, I brought my son to you, for he has a dumb spirit. And whenever, whenever, wherever it lays hold of him, so as to make him its own, it dashes him down and convulses him, and he foams at the mouth and grinds his teeth, and he falls into the motionless stupor and is wasting away. And I asked your disciples to drive it out, and they were not able to do it, to do it. And he answered them, Jesus answered, Un, oh, unbelieving generation, without any faith, how long shall I have to do with you? How long am I to bear with you? Bring him to me. So they brought the boy to him. And when the spirit saw him, at once it completely convulsed the boy. And he fell to the ground and kept rolling about, foaming at the mouth. And Jesus said, oh, look at him, roll around. Look at, oh, what are we going to do? No, no, women, women. Okay, women. And Jesus asked his father, how long has he had this? And he answered, from the time he was a little boy. And it has often thrown him both into the fire, into the water, intending to kill him. But if you can do anything, do have pity on us and help us. Now, look at the, look at the father's mindset. Look at the mom's mind. Look, look, if you can do anything, have pity and help us. But notice what Jesus said. And Jesus said, you say to me, if you can do anything. Why? Why do you say that to me? If you could do anything. All things can be, are possible to him who believes. Look, he asking Jesus to do something. And Jesus asking him, why are you asking me that? Jesus is telling them pretty much, you could do it. Uh -huh. Okay, no, no. He, look, look, you the fixer. He telling them, you could do it. Why are you asking me to do it? You could do it. Okay, let's, 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 let's just watch this. At once. No, he said, why? All things can be are possible to him who believes. Mm -hmm. See, I'm, I'm trying to, look, 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 look what I'm trying to get you to do. You praying for stuff you could do. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. ah. No, look, you son of God. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what Jesus said to this man. Why are you asking me to do it? You could do it. Mm -hmm. He said, all things possible. To him that believe it. 
See, if you believe you could do it to the man, you could do it. Oh, listen, listen. You waiting for somebody to help you with what you could do. See, you just ain't been told you could do it. So you waiting for something to get fixed that you could fix. You praying for something. You taking stuff to Jesus that you could fix. No, look, look, you could be down so long that down seem right to you. But I'm here to tell you tonight, you can get up. Ah, you're never out of the game. Come watch this. But when, but, but at once, verse 24, at once the father of the boy gave an eager, piercing, inaccurate cry with tears and said, Lord, I believe constantly. Help my weakness of faith. Now look, look up, look up. Because folk jump, jump out of all that and, 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 and jump to 25. But the meat is in 23 and 24. Only, only, Jesus was giving this man a teaching. He was, he was teaching him how to do it himself. Because why? He was, he was interrupted by the crowd. He going back and forth teaching him. Look what it says. But when Jesus noticed that, that a crowd of people came running together, he rebuked. Oh, word. when he saw the crowd coming, he had to stop teaching. So he went ahead and did it. But he was showing the man that if he could believe for it, he could do it. Okay. Because notice he said, but when he noticed that a crowd of people came running together, he rebuked the unclean spirit, saying to a dumb deaf, I charge you, come out of him. In other words, he took the tension off the man and did it himself. But it was a teaching moment. That if you could believe, why are you why are you asking me to do it? You could do it. Because why? Fear streaking shriek of anguish and convulsing him terribly. It came out, and the boy lay pale and motionless, like a corpse, so that many of them said, He is dead. But Jesus took a strong grip of his hand and began lifting him up, and he stood. And when he when he had Gone indoors, his disciples asked him privately, why could not we drive it out? And he replied to them, this kind cannot be driven out by anything but prayer and fast. What he was he saying? And the, and the fasting was added. You can see it in Talisai. Okay, and pray. What he was talking about, a lifestyle. Right. Right. He's talking about a lifestyle. Because how much fast? So, so another demon, you need more fast? No, he talking lifestyle. Yeah. He was schooling the man. Because he said, look what he said. He said, why are you asking me? Yeah. And Jesus, 23, and Jesus said, you say to me, if you can do anything, why? Mm -hmm. All things. That's like you asking me to bless your house or bless your car or bless your job. You could do it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have no more anointing than you got. Now, you might have more faith in me than you do you, but you shouldn't. You should believe you more than you believe me. You know you better. Come on. Come on. Jesus was schooling him. He said, why are you asking me to do it? All things are possible to him that believe all things are possible. He's saying, I'm doing it because you got to remember how Jesus, Jesus was out operating as a man right. that was led by God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He was our example mm -hmm. of how a believer mm -hmm. should operate being led by God. Mm -hmm. you, were, you, you waiting for something to happen when you've been equipped mm -hmm. to change it yourself. 
has a man thinking in the core of himself, so is he. See, what do you think about you? What, what, what do you think you've been equipped to do? Well, that's all you could do. As much as you believe, as, you, as much as, as you think about yourself, that's far as you can go. That's why you got to change your own opinion of yourself. Forget about what others said about you. What do you say about you? That's why when the devil comes up and talks to you about what you can't do, you got to flip that. Why would you be over here telling me what I couldn't do if I could do it? If I can't do it, then why are you telling me I can't do it? I, I just can't do it. So I must be able to do it because you, you're a liar. All right. But look, let's go a little bit farther. Let's go a little bit farther. Look at um, Mark 16. Mark 16. No, in the, in the kingdom of God, you got to use your faith. There ain't no Mark 16. I mean Matthew. No, there's Mark 16. Mark 16 and 1. There's one in my Bible. Mark 16. And when the, you there? Mark 16 and 1. And when the Sabbath was passed, that is after the sun has set, Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James and Solomon, purchased sweet-smelling spices so they might go and anoint Jesus' body. And very early on the first day of the week, they came to the tomb. By then, the sun had risen. And they said to one another, who will roll back the stone for us out of the groove across the floor at the door of the tomb? And when they looked up, they distantly saw that the stone was already rolled back. When they looked up, they saw that the stone, when they looked up, they saw that the stone was already, when they looked up, they saw that the stone was already, when they looked up, they saw, in other words, they had questions, but it had already been done. Amen. For it was, it was very large. Stone was very large, but it was already moved. When they looked up, and going into the tomb, they saw a young man sitting there on the right side, clothed in a long, steadily sweeping robe of white. And they were utterly amazed and struck with terror. And he said to them, do not be amazed and terrified. You are looking for Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He has risen. He is not here. See the place where they laid him. <clears throat> but be going, tell the disciples and Peter, he goes before you in Galilee. You will see him there. Just as he told you. Just as he told you. Then they went out and fled from the tomb for trembling bewilderment and, and consternation had ceased them. And they said nothing about it to no Edward, ain't it? I, 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 can't you, I can't tell you about this. They ain't tell nobody nothing. <laughs> For they were held by alarm and fear. Look, 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 look. You ain't gonna tell. Look, look, look what fear did to them. They ain't telling nobody not. Fear had them. Now, Jesus, having risen from the dead early on the first day of the week, appeared first to Mary Magdalene, from whom he had driven out seven demons. She went and reported it to those, those who had been with him. As they grieved him, look, she went and told them they was crying, they're crying and weeping. And when they heard that he was alive, that she had seen him, what happened? They didn't believe it. Now, he told them what was going to happen. He sent word to them. And guess what? They didn't believe it. Just like you don't believe it. Just like you think it, the only way is the natural way. You're not thinking supernatural. You're not, you're not thinking. Right. You're thinking the only way it could be is the way you think it. Yeah. And, and what I mean is by your exposure. You don't, yeah. you, you. Yeah. I remember coming up, I didn't think about other cities, other countries. I just thought about my neighborhood because that was my exposure. I didn't, I didn't realize how much water was in the world. 
Wasn't too maybe a year ago. Because I didn't think about it. See, you gotta you gotta understand that God got a trillion ways to do one thing. And more than that, but I mean, just, just to keep it in contact, but to do one thing. And I want to sink in because you you limiting yourself. You got you got to expand your thinker. You got to imagine yourself doing it. You've got you've got to use your faith to experience your future. So you got to experience before it manifests. That's faith operating the word of God. You got you got to believe it as a done deal. Before there's any outside evidence. Yes. And, and God don't expect you to stay in faith. Mm -hmm. On one thing forever. Mm -hmm. Okay, what, what do you mean by that? He don't, he don't expect. He don't expect once it manifests. You to still be in faith for that. Mm -hmm. No, once it manifests. Mm -hmm. It's, it's. It's knowing. I don't have to believe for that more, no more. I know it. Do you understand? Now I go on to something else. I don't need faith for that no more. I know that. So you go from believing to knowing. See, <clears throat> if you just if you just think. Hard work is going to give you the manifestation of the dream or the vision that God gave you. You're deceived. You run out of time. Not, not enough hours in the day. Amen. Amen. Okay, watch this. Verse 11. And when they heard that he was alive and that she had seen him, so they heard it. She said, I seen them. <laughs> D. Look, I, I heard it. Look, they heard it. She said, Look, I seen him. What did they do? They don't believe it. Get out of here. Right. Now they didn't see them feed, feed right. 5,000 with a few loaves of fish. They ain't seen him walk on water. She tell him, look, the same one that delivered them demons out of me, I saw him. They said, nah, man, get out of here. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. Just, like, just like I'm telling you the word work, get out of here. Yeah, right. same thing. I'm telling you God will provide. Get out of here. That's why y'all some of y'all holding on to your tithes and offering. You don't think he'll provide. Yeah, I'm going there. Look, you don't think he'll provide. You thinking if I don't take care of me, who will? You don't believe it. If you don't give during a pandemic or whatever the thing called, you ain't going to give. You don't believe now. <laughs> okay, but but let's let's move on. Let's move on. Look at look at look at the word. Cause some, some of y'all think some of y'all think okay. Cause and I ain't just now you gotta remember you gotta remember I ain't just talking about FCC no more. Yeah. I'm talking about y'all that go to churches. Mm -hmm. Just cause you don't go to church, just cause you ain't been to the building, that ten percent still got. Are you still eating? Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. Okay. Just, 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 whatever. Mm. I, ha I have to, I have to talk like this yeah. because it would be deceiving mm -hmm. if you're looking for finances yes. and you're looking for window open experiences and you won't tie, you won't give. It ain't gonna happen. Long as the earth, Genesis 8 22 is talking about, long as the earth remaineth, there shall be seed time. Mm -hmm. 
in harvest time. It ain't no way that you're going to get a harvest without seed. I would be, I would misleading you. No, he said, bring me all the tithes into the storehouse. The baby may meet in my house and prove me now. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, look at number 12. After this, he appeared. That's why I don't go there now. Well, stay. Go where you going to go. That's why you're needy now. That's why you're broke. That's why you're sick. That's why you're scared. Because you won't hear and do. You won't do something different. Mm -hmm. you, you think your way the only way. Right. Right. Oh, my God. oh, I like my reverend. He's a nice man. Yeah, you want a cheerleader. Mm -hmm. You need a coach. Yeah. It's a difference. Yes. Mm -hmm. Cheerleaders just cheer about what you're doing on, on the court or on the field. Mm -hmm. The coach digs into your potential. He want more for you. He know there's more in you. He ain't satisfied with what you did last game. He know you could be better. Mm. Look at look at twelve. After this, he appeared in a different form to two of them. As they were walking along the way into the country. Talking about Jesus. Appeared to two more disciples while they walking. But notice, in a different form. So, so they didn't recognize it. Other word, other word, here come to, here come to somebody you don't think. Your kid, your kid will prophesy to you. Call you out. Sure will. Mm. That didn't go over that good. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> no, don't turn me off. Wait a minute. Hold on. Okay, look, look. After this, he appeared in a different form to two of them as they were walking along the way into the country. And they returned to Jerusalem. And told the others, but what happened? <laughs> huh? They ain't believe it either. He came in another form. He came a different way. They took it back. And what? They did not believe them either. Well, check this out. Check this out. Hey, after a while, he had to come. Watch this. Afterward, he appeared to the 11 apostles themselves as they reclined at the table. And he reproved and reproached them for their unbelief, their lack of faith, their hardness of heart. Because they had refused to believe those who had seen him and looked at him attentively after he had risen from death. Look, 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 look. Look, God, look, look, God, God expects you to believe the word. No matter what form, no matter who, believe the word. Even said, don't do what the Pharisees and Sadducees do. I mean, don't do what they say, do what they do. No, no, other way. Don't do what they do, do what they say. Don't do what they do, do what they say. Don't do what they do, do what they say. Don't do what they do. Do what they say. I got to reach that out of your mind. Don't do what they do. Do what they say. Because they was telling people to do stuff that they ain't, that they ain't doing. Right. And Jesus knew it. So he said, right. don't do what they do. Do what they say. See, don't focus in on the flesh. Focus in on the word. That's why I'm giving you verse by verse. That's why I'm giving you chapter by chapter so that, so that you can see for yourself. Jesus got on them boys. And a woman came back and told you. The other two came back and told you. And you still don't believe it. Still don't believe it. 
He rebuked them. He wanted to send them out. So he had to equip them, but they wouldn't believe it. God wants to do stuff with you. I know, and I want to do this. I want no, no. God wants to make it so that everybody wants your life. He wants to sit you on a level that folk would envy you. It's called the good life. It's called the blessed life. It's called the life in the kingdom. But it but it takes it takes hearing and doing. Not just hearing. The Bible says if you just a hearer, you're deceiving yourself. No, you're supposed to have a life where you cease from your labor. But it's in the kingdom. And you think about it. You think about it. What I'm saying to you, the only thing is stopping you from doing this is your belief. See, you, you'll come back and tell me why you can't do it. That's your, that's your unbelief. That's why you can't do it, because you don't believe you could do it. You believe your excuse is greater than the word of God. That's why, that's why, that's why you can't do it, because you believe. That your excuse is greater. See, the reason I can't do it is because of this. Well, I'm on a fixed income. I wish you would just stop talking. I'm a, who fixed it? You. Fix it. Who fixed it? Who set your income? Why would, why would you fix your income? When, 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 when it's God's desire that it be full to the till, to it overflow. God's desire is that he came, Jesus came, that you might have life and have it more abundantly and you fixed it. No, that's a selfish thought. You're supposed to leave something for your children's children. Everybody shouldn't start have to start from scratch. That's right. When you leave, your deposits should still be in the earth. Mm -hmm. No, they should still be talking about what daddy said, what mommy said. Yeah. There should be something left. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Especially if you if especially if you struggle. Why would you want why would you want your kids to struggle? Why would you want your grands and your great grands to struggle? Let them get it for themselves and to make them strong. It ain't make you strong. If it wasn't for the grace of God, there go I. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I traded in my old life. Watch this. Go to John. John 20. I hope y'all getting something tonight. Is it, is it too strong? All right. All right. John 20. Starting at verse 19. Here go another. No, you got to believe. I believe. I believe it from Genesis to Revelation. I believe it. I believe it. I believe this. I believe it. I believe it. I'm, I'm convinced. I'm convinced that the word of God, even if, even if they don't, even if like they don't, they don't validate it on TV, they don't validate it on the news, don't have it. I believe this. I think, I think, I thank God for the ability to believe it, to trust it. I thank him for that. I thank, I thank him for, 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 Changing my, the word of God changed my mind. Hallelujah. All right. Look at um, 20. Look at 20. No, this is, we talking kingdom now. We talking kingdom. I'm talking to, I'm talking to kingdom citizens. Look at 20 and verse 19. Then on that, 
that same first day of the week, when it was evening, though the disciples were behind closed doors for the fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them and said, peace to you. So saying, he showed them his hands and his side. And when the disciples saw the Lord, they were filled with joy, delight, exaltation, ecstasy, uh, rapture. Then Jesus said to them again, peace to you. Just as the Father has sent me forth, so am I sending you. And having said this, he breathed on them and said to them, receive and admit the Holy Spirit. Now, having received the Holy Spirit and being led and directed by him, if you, go for, go, if you forgive the sins of anyone, they are forgiven. If you retain the sins of anyone, they are retained. He's giving them authority. But Thomas, one of the 12 called the twin was not with them when Jesus came, the twin, mm -hmm. Mm. called the twin. Well, where was he? So the other disciples kept telling him, we have seen the Lord. But he said, unless I see in his hands the mark made by the nails and put my fingers into the nail, Prince, and put my hand into his side, I will never believe it. Check this out. Check this out. Notice what a nickname is the twin. Twins look alike. Let's play with it a little bit. Twins look alike, but they ain't the same. Even identical twins they ain't the same. Right. You, can, you can be scattered brain. Mm -hmm. One minute you believe in God, next minute you ain't. Mm -hmm. See, where was he? Mm -hmm. And with the attitude mm -hmm. that if I don't see it, I ain't going to believe it. Well, who you think that's hurt? No, you got to you got to you got to believe this mm. without no tangible evidence mm. to see it, mm. to smell it, to taste it, to hear it. So you got to 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 take the word of God mm. as validation. Why would he talk about something that ain't there? Why would he talk about a kingdom that don't exist? Why would he say stuff like, in my father's house are many mansions? He said, if it were not so, I wouldn't have told you. I go to prepare a place for you that where I am, there you may be all. Why would he talk about that, that, that? That's what stimulates me. If he's talking about something that my senses can't pick up, then it must be true. See, it's kind of like borderline ignorance. If, if, if I got to use my senses to validate what the word of God says, and my senses can't validate it. My senses cannot contact that, that level. That's why I said, seek ye first the kingdom of God, his righteousness, and then all these things will be added to you. Well, you have to purposely seek the kingdom, God's way of doing right. Well, what's God's way of doing right? God's way is, is saying and seeing. God's way is talk and answer. You never, you never, you never seen Jesus really concentrate on, on the problem. He always, he always came in with the solution. Yeah. Do, you, do you want to be made whole? Yeah. 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 Always, 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 his attention was always on results. Yeah. 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 That's where you gotta, that's where you gotta be like-minded. Let this mind be in you, which you also was in Christ. You, you gotta be like-minded. You gotta change the way you think. There's more than there's more. Than, than what you think. 
people will fight you to stay. They'll, they'll fight you to stay in fear. They'll fight you to stay in worry. They'll, they'll fight you to stay in lack. They will, nobody won't hire me. There ain't no jobs. Well, I say back to you, create one. Call your job. Name it. Ain't no job. What about being about your father's business? You handle his, he'll handle yours. He told him, disciples, come on, I'm gonna make you, I'm gonna take you to another level. You've been fishing, but I'm gonna make you fisher of men. I'm gonna make you valuable to man. You'll never be out of work. Come on, I'm gonna. I'm going to use your skill set. Do you think your skill set was for one thing? I, I, I always was able to make folk laugh and blah, blah, blah. But I didn't know it was going to be used for the kingdom of God. To hold your attention, to give you some more word. I didn't know, I didn't know that, that, that that was my calling. I never thought about preaching. I never thought about being a minister. I never thought about being a pastor. All I want to do is drive the school bus, the Sunday school bus, to pick up kids, because I thought that was a good fatherly thing to do. My kids on the bus, I'm here we go, the bus, bus, the, the. okay, picking up kids. And I, didn't, I, didn't think, I didn't think past that. And I got mad. Because they wouldn't let me drive the bus. No, we want you in Sunday school. Mm -hmm. I didn't know destiny was on my life. Mm -hmm. I didn't know purpose was on my life. Mm -hmm. You could fight to stay the same and not realize there's a calling on your life. Not realize it. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Right. No, the, the, the goal of God is that that you understand everything you need to win, you already got it. Even the folk that think they're withholding something from you, from keeping you from, from being on the top, they ain't got it, you got it. Everything you need to win is in you. Every person you need to help, every person that needs to help you is in you. Every nickel, every quarter, every dollar you need to do it is in you. So you looking outside, it's in you. It's in you. All the peace, all the joy is in you. Nobody can't bring you down. You got to give them permission to bring you down. You got to give them permission. Yeah. They'll be laying on them same things that used to hurt you. Mm -hmm. And you will inwardly be laughing. Because yeah. you just see how silly it is. They laying on that bell, waiting for a reaction. And sometimes you give them a little dance like it's affecting them. Mm -hmm. To amuse your own self. Mm -hmm. But there's no weapon formed no against you that shall prosper. There ain't, there ain't no weapon. There, there, ain't, there, there ain't no weapon. 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 Oh, yeah. oh this is good stuff. Yeah. See, you, you, you gotta, you gotta remember this. You gotta, and then we're gonna break off. But you got, you gotta remember this. Everything you need, to, and I'm gonna say, everything you need to win, because this, the whole purpose is to win. Yeah. I don't just want to play to win. Right. See this this life thing? Mm -hmm. I intend to win. Mm -hmm. I don't just intend to play. Anything I do, I intend to win. Yeah. Yeah. And I hope I hope you're rooting for me to win. But if you ain't, mm -hmm. I done learned self-motivation. Mm -hmm. Greater is he mm -hmm. that's in me than he that's in the world. No, no, 
the world going around, I'm winning. I don't just I don't just want to play. Mm -mm. I want to win. That's some good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I challenge you. Before I go off there tonight, I challenge you to change your mind. I don't mean, I don't mean getting with a bunch of folk to agree with me. You agree with me. They got to No, agree with yourself. Agree with yourself. Have a meeting with yourself. Say, self, where are we going? So, Self, where do we want to be this time next year? Self, what do we believe in God for? I'm not talking about getting in agreement with a whole lot of people because, it, you, come on, man. That's just like you, when you say pray for me. How many people you think praying for you? Amen. I just stop right there. Let's make a joyful noise unto the Lord. That's enough. We just we just park it because either you got it or you don't. You get some more next week. Get some more uh, Sunday morning. Okay, it is now offering time. Woo! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! All right, uh, grab your offering, tithes, offering, gift of love in your hand. And uh, the Bible says, when we come before the Lord with our tithes and offering. We come with a confession. Amen. Oh, my God. Oh, God is just asking you just to believe him. I'm trying to land this thing. But listen, listen. Heavenly Father, we profess this day unto you that we have come into the inheritance which you have sworn to give us. We're in the land which you provided for us in Jesus Christ, the kingdom of the almighty God. We were sinners serving Satan. He was our God. But we called upon the name of Jesus, and you heard our cry and delivered us from the power of darkness. And translate us into the kingdom of your dear son. Jesus, as our Lord and high priest, we bring the first fruits of our income to you, that ye may worship the Lord our God with you. Father, we rejoice in all the good which you have given to us in our households. We have heard your voice and have done according to all that you have commanded us. Now, Father, as you look down from your holy habitation from heaven to bless us as you said in your word, we believe that we now receive those blessings according to your word. This is our confession of faith in Jesus' name. Amen. We got PayPal, Cash App, good old U.S. Postal Mail. Uh, this is good ground. We'd ask that you, you know, check money order. Uh, now that's all I could tell you, man. I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just so excited that you're tuning in and and keep on tuning in. Maybe, maybe, maybe to catch you. I hope it. I hope it. Uh, do for you what it did for me. I heard and I just did. And when I did, it just took off. And life life is great, man. So we want to give you that chance, that opportunity to sow your seed into the kingdom of God. And believe, we believe in God in advance for your hundredfold return. Amen. That 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 when we do, when we do come back to church or whatever, you'll stop by the church. And, and give you a testimony of how you, you grabbed onto the word of God and the word of God took you to another level. Honest, I'm here to tell you, if you do this, not based on my word, based on the word of God, you do the word of God and, and you be faithful to God in your tithes and offering, manifestation will take place. Amen. Amen. Okay, so we're going to sign off, but we want you to know and and I, I share something with you Sunday. We'll see you Sunday. There's something I share with you. So tune in Sunday, and we're, we're talking, and y'all remind me to share something with you. If I, if I don't bring it up, you bring it up. Amen. Love y'all. Talk to you in a little bit. Y'all have a blessed evening.